Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the ceremony to honor our fallen brother, Staff Sergeant Alex French IV. Please rise for the playing of the national anthem and remain standing for the invocation. All military personnel remain in a position of attention while indoors for the national anthem. Captain Rosano will now give the invitation. Please join me in prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we are grieved by the occasion that brings all of us here together today. We are deeply saddened by the loss of our brother in arms, Staff Sergeant Alex French. All of us appreciate the privilege we have to serve our great country in far away and dangerous places. Each of us know the danger we face daily in performing this high calling. But the loss of a fellow warrior is always sharp and deeply felt. Today is no exception. So we pray that our service today will honor this man who touched us all in a way fitting him and the service he provided to his family, his country, and to each of us here. Christ, I pray. Amen. Please observe with me a moment of silence, silence, in honor of this great man and the sacrifice he made for America, for each of us, and for the people of Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen, Please take your seats and soldiers stand at ease. The acting Alpha Company Commander, First Lieutenant Thompson, will now provide his remarks. Welcome, distinguished guests, Brigadier General Dudney, Colonel Durham, Colonel Howard. Colonel Etheridge, Lieutenant Colonel Smith, Lieutenant Colonel Smith, Lieutenant Colonel Moline, and Lieutenant Colonel Thurman. Alpha Company, welcome. And General Ezra, and Command Act Commanders. We have lost a friend, a brother, a soldier. Staff Sergeant French was the type of soldier that you could talk to about anything, no matter what. That could motivate you bring out the best in you, and still make you laugh while doing it. His hard work and spirit must not be forgotten. We must be strong and embody his triumphs and success. For we are only halfway in our journey. We must reunite as a team and not let our enemies defeat us mentally, or our morale. God will know our sweat and tears, but we are a company of men, and we shall succeed. We are Alpha Company. Sergeant Frank. 
H's former platoon sergeant, Sergeant First Class Toomey, will now provide his remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I'd like to say it's an honor for me to be here today for this occasion. I'm so thankful that I could be here. Uh, I love Sergeant French like a brother. I've not known you very long, but uh, February of 07, I was assigned to Delta Company as a platoon sergeant, and uh, my first drill there was at Patusa. I got off the bus, not knowing a soul except for uh, Sergeant Abercrombie. And uh, Sergeant French made his way to me, welcomed me into the platoon. And it wasn't just a few minutes, he had me laughing. He's uh, the kind of guy he was. Uh, went to the Republic of Georgia with him and uh, visited my platoon. And uh, we all got what we referred to as the uh, Tbilisi Trot. Stomach virus, and uh, between uh, uh, Staff Sergeant, I mean, uh, Sergeant uh, uh, French, Sergeant Reynolds, and Sergeant Moore, and Ragsdale, they almost made it fun to have it from the uh, remarks and stuff that they were making and carrying on with each other. But uh, anytime I was around Sergeant French, it wasn't for just a few minutes, I was laughing. It's the kind of guy he was. And uh, I've thought of him many times in the past couple of days. A lot of thoughts, and each one of those thoughts ended in a smile. Every time I think about him, it's the remarks he and the things he would do, the way he would just carry on. That's just the kind of person he was. And as a soldier, one of the best NCOs I've ever worked with. He loved his job. He loved his men. His goal was to take care of the soldiers. That's what he told me. He said, I'm here to take care of soldiers to see that they have what they have and know what they need to know to do their job. He was truly one of the most professional NCOs I've ever known. Uh, Hebrews 9 and 27 says, Is it appointed once unto man to die, and after that the judgment? Well, Sergeant French, has, he's just passed through those doors that we're all going to pass through one day. He just went a little early. And uh, the way I knew Sergeant French, and I sincerely believe in my heart the way that he believed that I will be able to see him again one day because we'll all have to pass through those doors one day. And until then, I just want to remember his, uh, his little girls, his mom and dad, and uh, all his precious loved ones that he left behind. And I'd like to say he was like a brother, and it really hurt to lose him. And I really miss him. The 48th Brigade, Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Herndon will now provide his remarks. General Dudney, Colonel Durham, Colonel Howard, Colonel Lethridge, Colonel Smith, Colonel Thurman, Colonel Moline, other officers, Sergeant Major Jacobs, Sergeant Major Hall, Sergeant Major Roach, Afghan partners, special guests, Camp Clark crew members, Fellow warriors, especially the volunteer warriors of Alpha Company and the visiting dragoons of Delta Company, I am both honored and humbled to have been asked to speak in tribute of our Staff Sergeant Alex French. Warriors, we have lost from our sight a brother, a friend, a devoted father of three, a proud, committed son. He loved his mother beyond our words consummate NCO and a true role model for us all. Staff Sergeant French's calm demeanor portrayed humble confidence to me, full contentment in his place, wherever that might be. Being near Sergeant French made me want to be more like him, and I say that with sincerity. He carried with him a palpable sense of happiness that was infectious to all those around him. We would all be challenged to find anyone that did not truly like or admire this great man. He made, he made our team better, he enriched all our lives, and he made a monumental difference. Alex French was an unquestionable man of God as well. He never went into battle without his Bible close. He wore the armor of God, the shield, the breastplate, and the sword. I will share a story related to me this last Friday by Staff Sergeant French's cousin, 
So our first match, Walls, was a member of the Task Force Kabul BTT. While the organization was rallied at Phoenix, moving onto the battlefield, there was an anxiety amongst the force moving into Coast Province, reference the unknowns of battle, knowing it was going to be a fierce fight. In Staff Sergeant Fritz's own special way, and many of us know, he shared these words with the soldiers. We cannot be sure of tomorrow. We cannot always control our circumstances. But we can be sure of our faith in the Lord, and that's what we must keep the main thing. That is the one thing we can always count upon. That is very inspiring for me to hear. Sergeant Fritz was the example of selfless service being a sheriff's deputy back in our great state of Georgia, and now volunteering twice to serve his nation on the field of battle in this ongoing fight for freedoms. He was a man of much humor as well. Those who knew him are fully aware of this. I am confident that when we see him next, and that we will, his greeting will have the affectionate, well-known reference to our face. Sergeant French has left their sight Though he's not gone, he is out of sight for an interval into another room just around the corner. And I believe all is well. Also, I know Alex is fine. He has been remissioned. He's went ahead. He secured the high ground. He has our back, and he remains with us always. And he smiles, that incredible smile. That, to me, is, again, very reassuring. What we must now do in honor of Alex's impact upon us is service and ultimate sacrifice with our actions today, tomorrow, and going forward in his name. As well, I feel we should all commit to visit his children in the future, Alex V, Alexis, and Madison, perhaps this day next year, and share with them the impact their departed father had upon us, the difference he made, and the personal story of this great man. I will. In closing, I share a brief passage from the original field manual, the greatest field manual of all, Isaiah 6 8. And I heard the voice of the Lord say, Who shall I send and who shall go for us? And it was said, Here I am, send me. That's what Sergeant Alex French IV said more than once. And we all have been privileged and made better as a result. He remains with us, warriors. See you on the high ground, Sergeant French. Chaplain Rosano will now provide the scripture reading and memorial message. Our reading today <clears throat> will come from Psalm 23, which says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. One key aspect of being a shepherd is the willingness to lay down your life for your sheep. Staff Sergeant French was a man of faith, as these other testimonies show us, and his faith taught the following that there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for your friends. Staff Sergeant French believed Christ had done this for him, and Staff Sergeant French modeled this timeless ethic in all areas of his life. In his professional life as a soldier and NCO, his soldiers related to me, and I saw myself in action, that he was a consummate professional, striving to always do his best to always grow in his skills and abilities, and to motivate his soldiers to do the same. 
He would not settle for half done on anything, whether that was each soldier preparing their individual gear for the next mission outside the wire, or whether he was back in the United States training for and conducting funeral honors for literally hundreds of veterans who earned an honorable military burial through their service. And they received this honorable burial because of the hard work and professionalism of men like Staff Sergeant French. He was both a mentor and a friend to the soldiers he led as a non-commissioned officer. I've heard numerous stories this week of how he pushed and guided other soldiers in this very unit and in other units as well as they moved from privates up to NCOs now themselves because of his influence. He embodied everything the Army hopes to have in an NCO. And in his personal life, he also modeled this ethic. He was a father entirely devoted to his children. His friends have told me over and over how he always put his precious little ones first. And on drill weekends, he would invite everyone over to his house instead of going out so that he could continue to build relationships with his fellow soldiers and be there for his children. Um, he kept them as his number one priority, taking care of his children and being their father. The bottom line is that everyone in this room loved this outstanding soldier. We loved his humor, his attention to detail, his devotion to duty, and his devotion to the development of his subordinates. We loved his pride in his children, his faith, and his inspiring example of how to lead and mentor young soldiers. We will truly miss our brother in arms. We will truly miss our brother in faith. And we will truly miss our trusted NCO, our mentor, and our friend. Each of us here can look and should look up to the example provided by this outstanding warrior. And we should tap into his strength to find the will to fight on in honor of him and in honor of the sacrifice he made for his family, his country, and each and every one of us here in this room. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would ask you to please stand. And all military personnel remain at the position of attention throughout the benediction and remain standing at attention for the last roll call. Please join me in prayer. Lord, we thank you today that we had the great privilege of knowing and serving with Staff Sergeant French. We miss him dearly. We ask that you will give us the strength we need to persevere in our duties in honor of this great warrior. Please, Lord, comfort his family at this time and be with his young children who have lost their father. Help us to always be there for those young children in the years to come, as he was here for each of us day to day during this deployment. And Lord, we ask that you will protect us as we continue this mission, and please enable us not to have to memorialize any more soldiers during our time here in Afghanistan. In Christ's name I pray, amen. Command Sergeant Major, call the roll.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing until the official party has rendered their final honors. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the ceremony. You are now invited to pay respects to our fallen warrior.
If you're reading this, I'm already home. If you're reading this, halfway around the world, I won't be there to see the birth of our little girl. I hope she looks like you. Hope she fights like me and stands up for the innocent and the weak. I'm laying down my gun, I'm hanging up my boots till dad I don't regret that I followed in his shoes. So I'm already home If you're reading this There's gonna come a day You move on and find someone else And that's okay Just remember this I'm in a better place 